Hey everybody, welcome to Hills and Gills. Chuck here with you. And we're going to be starting a little series on some lures, whether it's top water, soft plastic, whatever it may be, into the fall of the year that we're going to be picking up at crazy cheap prices. Now, sometimes lures that comes at a cheap price has faults to them. And in this series, we're either going to be smashing them or we will be stashing them in our tackle boxes, fishing vest, whatever, and be using on a regular basis. But today, they're giving heavy thunderstorms. It is 102 degrees. We're not really out here to fish with this lure today, but to test it out. And it is a jerk bait. I got five of these off Timu for $5.49, free shipping, and they're floating top jerk baits, 3.39 inches long. They've got a nice, solid bill to them right here. The hooks on them, unlike other cheap type lures that you can pick up, is really nice. They are really good, sharp hooks. It's got rattles in it. This one right here, is, they're like a foil wrap. You can see this is kind of like a bronze back. It's got some bronze-like gold up toward the head of it. Got those red eyes. And then it's got that silver metallic look and it's running into the belly there. So let's get down to the river. So when we get done, we'll come right back here I'll give you my final thoughts on it, is if, if it's worth buying. If it is, I'll have a link right down in the description. So let's get down to the water and check this little Timu dollar type jerk bait out. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do with this little jerk bait here is just, I'm just gonna do some rip and stop actions. That's usually how I use these little floating type jerk baits in the river. And this kind of looks like a bomber type uh, jerk bait. And a lot of times when I'm doing that rip and stop, with cheaper ones I've used before, they'll kind of lay on their side coming in because they can't handle the action, or they'll start barrel rolling, as I call it. I call it kind of getting out of time. I'm just going to rip it along, stop it. Classic river fishing, or even lake fishing with a floating type jerk bait. And so far, I really like it. It's darting from side to side. It ain't trying to barrel roll or lay on its side. Now I'm just gonna rip it in. Like I'm trying to get that reaction bite in the river. Okay, next thing that we're gonna try is just reeling it straight in. Like speed reel it in. I've done that with cheaper jerk baits and even name brand jerk baits before and they kind of lay on their side or they'll just start flipping over and over because they can't handle that speed caught a lot of trout doing that type before down below wolf creek dam on the cumberland river so i'm just going to cast him out here and then i'm just going to reel reel about as fast as i can he stayed true Next thing we're going to try is the floating technique. And I do that a lot with uh, these type of jerk baits when I'm fishing the river or even around the lake where there's cover. I'll flip them out and just twitch them on the top of water and I've killed smallmouth doing that. So what we're going to do is just flip him out here. Let the ring settle a little. Then I'm just going to let him dip on top of the water. You would not believe the smallmouth, especially early morning, late evening, I have taken with this technique. Let them flip, let it flutter under the water a little bit, then just a little dimple. Yeah, I like that. Okay, next thing we're gonna do with this little jerk bait, I'm just gonna cast it out, reel it straight into right here. See about how deep it goes when you're just reeling it straight in, and then let it float up. See how long it takes it to float up. So we'll go ahead and just flip him out right here. I'm just gonna reel him straight in. And it goes down about a foot or so, foot and a half. And then it's got kind of a slow rise back up to the surface as you can see right there. You can see that flash in it there. The colors just pops out on it in the sun. I'll kill some small map on this fellow right here. What kind of distance we can get on this. We do have a little wind blowing, but I'm just gonna send it out there. Hey, 
for a 3.3 inch jerk bait it's got some distance to it you can make some pretty long casters with it well guys a hundred and some degrees i am freaking roasting right now but it passed every technique that i put it through what i wanted out of a jerk bait whether it was twitching ripping it reeling it straight in it had awesome distance and casting i put this thing across this river just about it and no barrel rolling no freaky looking coming in on its side like other cheap jerk baits does. And in today's world, fishing stuff is going through the roof. But if you're new getting into fishing, it's hard to afford fishing lures if you're getting into it now. And even people like veteran fishermen, seasoned fishermen that's been around, that's looking for good jerk baits, that if they lose it, they're not going to lose a $10 bill. Because we're going to be bringing other types of lures, whether it's top water soft plastics, swim baits. We're gonna be bringing a lot of different ones. That way you can check them out right here before you spend your hard earned money on them. And if they're no good, we're gonna smash them. And if they're good quality, we're gonna stash them and keep using them. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, as well as hit that notification bell. And that way when we upload, you will know when we are out on the river, trying out lures, or out there fishing, or whatever we may be doing right out here in the outdoors. Until next time, we'll see you right back here at Hills and Gills. Have yourself a good one.